All right, let me backtrack here. Um, what I'm going to do is a demonstration on how to use the color range module in Photoshop CS5 to make a pinpoint selection uh, in order to change Ashanti's dress from red to blue. Um, and essentially, you can change it to pretty much any color. Uh, but using the, the color range and in combination with uh, layer blend modes, uh, you can achieve a a pretty good effect in a in a pretty small amount of time. So first, what I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer, and then I want to add a new layer. And this is going to be the new layer uh, titled Layer One is what I'm going to use to make the coloration change. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and make my change. I'll select uh, a mid-level blue. This is pretty deep. And what I want to do is fill this layer with that color and then I'll hide it. Because at this current time I don't need it. But uh, the layer I'm going to work with now is the background copy. Um, what I want to do is go to the select menu, go to color range, and then I want to sample a mid tone red in her dress. Nothing that's not the shadows, uh, nothing that is a highlight, but mid tone. Here we have a pretty good mid tone red. I'll select that and adjust the fuzziness. By adjusting the fuzziness what you're doing is you're making the selection either not so much or a little bit more and if you go to the right too far then you will start selecting the red in her um, in her skin tone. Uh, but what we might do is just go ahead and block that out uh, later because that allows me to select a lot more of the dress but what I want to do is kind of find a pretty even kill number which right here uh, looks like about 158 um, so I'll click OK alright so now the selection is made it looks like a pretty good selection now what I'm going to do is I need to go ahead and make layer one active this is the color the the layer with the the dark blue color uh, that I mentioned uh, previously and by going to the the layer add layer mask what I'm gonna do is knock out everything that's not selected so I'm just stuck with the blue over the dress which uh, right now it looks a little weird um, but the thing is if you change the layer mode from normal to hue now you have a more realistic effect 